I am Gamachi, mutant, inventor, scientist, for you to understand. I need to start at the beginning. In the 21st century, the Glukersberg Corporation rose to a position of world dominance. By 2035, their LifeNet total existence network had linked billions of people across the globe encompassing social, economic, government, private and public services within one monstrous, ever-evolving system. With LifeNet and the corporation's vast financial resources, Glukersberg accomplished what governments could only hope for. A worldwide populace that wanted to conform and that was willing to sacrifice privacy for security, safety, and interaction. The CEO, Kram Glukisberg, pooled tens of thousands of scientists together to find a new source of free energy to be used for space exploration. The result was magnetic technology. Glukisberg's space program would be a three-month test of not only magtech, but also citizen explorers, astronauts chosen from the populace. After worldwide selection trials that tested the applicant's athletic capabilities and knowledge of mathematics, physics, and psychology, seven candidates were chosen to enter Glukersberg's training facility. These seven, selected from scientists, athletes, and civilians, would take Glukersberg's technology to the stars. Glukersberg called them his magrunners. A 500,000 square foot training facility filled with puzzles and physical obstacles was built over the San Andreas Rift. The world watched and waited. This young man is Dax C. Ward. Dax's father, like me, was an expert in genetics and cybernetics. One of the few who had no compunctions about working with a mutant. James and his wife Lavinia became my closest friends. When the accident happened, Dax was left in my care. I raised the boy the best I could, and he soon began to show signs of his father's brilliance. Dax had an aptitude for robotics, genetics, engineering. He read everything he could about Glukersberg's magtech and began to apply the same principles to creating his own technology. By the time he was 11, he had started his own business, repairing and creating new devices. By the time he was 15, he had built and programmed the Newton prototype, a one-of-a-kind electromorph robot. So I suppose that I shouldn't have been surprised when he told me on his 23rd birthday that he wanted to apply for the Krukersberg Magtech program. He had the skills, and he had the brain for it. As we completed work on his custom maglav, I knew he was ready. My friends, thank you for joining us today. Today, Grukasburg Magtech is proud to unveil our space exploration training facility. Today is the first day of a three-month training program that'll prepare our mag runners for space exploration. At our facility, they will not only experiment with magtech, but also learn to work and live together as they forge our future. Now, let's hear a few words from Xander Deverin, the creator of the facility and genius magtech engineer. I've spent considerable time and energy designing the testing facility with functional examples of our new technology. During training periods, contestants will find their bodies and minds pushed to the limits. We will see what they can accomplish individually and later what they are capable of as a group. Be sure to stay online to see History in the Making, brought to you by the same minds responsible for the LifeNet. After a quick briefing, our seven mag runners are preparing to enter the facility for the first time. 
It's almost showtime, Dax. You ready for this? I'm nervous, Kamaji. I made it here. Now the real training starts. The Mag Runners training will be the most important three months of their lives. They will pit their skills and wits against the brilliant Mag Tech engineer, Xander Deveran, who will evaluate their progress. We've been allowed into the facility for the first 24 hours, and we're bringing it to you live via LifeNet. Don't be nervous, Dax. Stay focused. And remember why you're here. Newton and I will be following on the life net. He says good luck. No, Gamaji. We're talking about going into space if I pass the training. It's hard to believe. If your parents were here, I know they'd be very proud of you, as I am. Be sure to test out the new maglev before you start. Ready, Xander? Ready. Let's begin. Good luck, Dax. Right. Stay focused. Right. So this Tram Drugister bloke is in charge of this world. <laughs> Welcome to the state of the art, Mag Runners. Xander's really outdone himself with this facility. We hope you enjoy this miracle of Mag Tech modularity. Huh, so this is Magtech. Huh. Yeah. What for this activity is? Let's just say we'll find out. Remember the basic rules of magnetism. I'm surprised you... You're handling this. The Grookesver MagTech Experience. Brought to you live by LifeNet. That wasn't so bad, Gamaji. How are the other mag runners doing? Don't get too confident. That's just the beginning. Three months is a long time. Hearing a voice inside your Look head. Tech. How did Xander develop this stuff? Just focus on your training. I'm going to limit our transmissions to the elevators between levels. There's less interference. I'm coming from another universe, let's leave it at that. Dax, Cassandra Shin from LifeNet Media. Can you give us a few thoughts about today? How do you feel about being the only mag runner without outside corporate funding or professional training? Do you think you're at a disadvantage? What? I have a trainer. That would be the mutant we've heard about? Gamaji? Yeah. Sorry, Miss Shin. I have to go. Whoa. I certainly dress. There's more revealing here. Yeah, it'd probably help if both cubes were the same polarity. It would also help if... You get up there. I think I know how you could do this. Try the platform. Oh. 
It's a magnetic equivalent of something I saw in Apsha Science. And yet, I know that's non-existence in this world, but it's similar to something I've already seen. And we've passed. Well, you've passed, because you're the one doing it. Dax, did you feel like an underdog during the selection trials? They're all underdogs, Miss Shin. The training is discovery-based, and I will not tolerate less than 100% commitment to the program. Look, Miss Shin, I have the same chances as the other mag runners at passing. I don't see why you keep... Same chances? <laughs> oh, of, of course, of course. <laughs> Same chances. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what, Dax. How about an exclusive interview and the front page of LifeNet Science Online? Uh, sure. Yeah. Hmm. Get your acts together, Mum. At least there's lots of food. <sighs> yeah. Hope you ate well before coming up here. And yeah, I know you're on a training facility on the moon. Yeah, I know. And you need to break that glass if you want to leave this room. As for that reporter bird... Not too sure about her. She might be much older than she looks. That's not knowing how good the cosmetic surgery and genetic resequencing is in this. Um, yeah. I don't think your head is strong enough to break through that. That's right. That might lead to something good. Yeah. Got the nice idea, but you might need a little more magnetic propulsion. Right. We have the surprisingly not evil CEO. Then we have the Steve Jobs look-alike. Well, a bad one if he is. Bad as in policy, not in morality. And then we have that Gamaji bloke. That six-armed mutant that appears to well, sounds like you're... that you two are close. <laughs> ah, I think we have the solution. Just apply it to smash the glass. 